break. We are learning uh, that Senator Dianne Feinstein of California suffered more severe health complications than previously disclosed. Senator Feinstein was taken to the hospital in February for shingles and was absent from Congress for several months. She returned to the Senate last week, and according to her spokesperson, Feinstein's diagnosis had triggered encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain. She's also dealing with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, which causes facial paralysis. Feinstein has said she's still recovering and will be taking on a lighter workload. But according to the New York Times, some people close to her describe seeing her in her current state as frightening. They worry this will cast a shadow over her legacy and achievements. This has also raised questions about whether the 89-year-old is fit to continue serving for the rest of her term, which ends in January of 2025. But lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have been quick to defend the California senator. Feinstein has announced she will not seek re-election and will retire at the end of her term. So I guess the question... Claire is, I mean, I, I'd like to know who those people are who are saying that her situation is frightening because sort of in the, in the defense of people who are dealing with issues of aging, sometimes you can look a little different, but you still can function. And, you know, that's, that's kind of a, a cruel word to use. I, I'm not sure exactly what they mean. They might want to expound upon that a little more. I feel defensive for the senator because it is one's choice. But I also, I ask where the family is, where the staff is, if a situation is becoming untenable. I mean, there are people who care about one who, who should step in. Your thoughts? Well, it's emotional for me. Um, yeah, I, I me came too. to Washington and Dianne Feinstein was someone who was such a pleasant surprise for me because I had some cynicism about senators and I watched her. I watched her do the work. She was more prepared. She was more knowledgeable. She was not staff driven. Uh, she was really just and, and her strength at various moments, like when the White House was trying to get her to not give a speech on torture and anyone who wants to see Dianne Feinstein at her fame, really at her best, should watch the speech she gave on the floor of the Senate about torture. And she was such a role model for me, and I think for literally thousands of women in California and beyond. This is really, really hard. And, yeah. I, and I, I, I get it that there have been men that have stayed when they were very ill, but the cognitive issue is real. And mm -hmm. I think we've gotta be honest about that. She is struggling with her cognitive abilities and uh, the thing, uh, listen, I would stand in front of a train for Dianne Feinstein, but I care so deeply about her legacy. And I look at all the women who left when they thought it was time, like a Barbara Mikulski, uh, like mm -hmm. an Olympia Snow. Uh, I can go, Nancy Kassebaum. There are, you know, just really iconic women who have known that it's time. And it hurts me to see what happened this week when a reporter asked her a question and she clearly was not tracking what was going on in her life. And that's painful for all of us who care about her. And I, I, I do wonder why the people who love her are not more aggressively trying to protect her legacy and protect her at this point in time. Yeah, and that's a tough one because often what defines someone and what makes them happy is their work. And I just know from my own personal experience with my mother that in, in for a number of years, in the last years of her life, she had really lost the ability to talk as much with Parkinson's and her face would, would appear differently than how she felt, but she could still compute. She still completely understood her vision with her art and she still wanted to do it and she just needed help to do it. And I, you know, I, I think that it's a very difficult line that only the people closest to the loved one know when the actual cognitive ability is going away because it may look like it's going away, it may be frightening to whatever staffer leaked that or whoever. I mean, 
Yeah, but Mika, yes, I when would, people I would, age, they look different. I would make the point, yes. though, your mother's love was creative. <clears throat> Diane's, yeah. love, Diane's love is a public-facing job where her ability to communicate is the essence of the job. Mm. And that's what makes this so hard, is that she cannot be the Diane Feinstein that we all know she is. And that's why it's difficult to watch. It's difficult to watch, but there are other members of the Senate who are having trouble communicating, and well, they're still true. allowed to do their jobs. That, that, there's so. no question about that. But it is just, you know, I, and I'm just being honest about how I personally feel about this because um, she was, you know, she was really very, very important to me. Yeah, understood.